Hi. In this particular video, we are going to understand or discuss uh, one uh, small concept in respiratory system. The concept of equal pressure point. How this concept uh, is involved in our breathing. It's involved in the uh, expiration and uh, what happens in the patients of COPD. Let's understand this concept. Uh, let us assume a person, a normal healthy person. And the person in, inhales or inspires maximally. This is just a diagrammatic representation uh, to, to explain the concept of equal pressure point. Here is a normal healthy individual who takes a heavy forceful inspiration. Now imagine that's the starting point that the person has taken inspiration and now the expiration is starting. Expiration is starting. That's the starting point. The intra-alveolar pressure would be positive. Uh, let's say plus 20 centimeters of water. And the pressure around the airways, the interstitial pressure, let's uh, take it to be uh, plus 6 everywhere. It's, it will be the same. Uh, this is because there is the recoil of the lung parenchyma. The connective tissue is recoiling and therefore there would be a certain amount of uh, recoil pressure in the form of this plus 6 centimeters of water. Um, now, uh, as the expiration starts, the air starts coming out. This is just a diagrammatic representation and we have taken certain arbitrary values. Let me reiterate this. As the air starts coming out, the pressure head will dissipate gradually as the air starts coming out. The person has started the exhalation. And mind you, the atmospheric pressure zero. So pressure at the outlet is zero, the atmospheric pressure. So from plus 20 in the alveolus to this pressure at the outlet, which is zero, the atmospheric pressure. The air starts coming out and the pressure head dissipates gradually. So the pressure would be plus 18, plus 16, plus 14, uh, plus 12, plus 10, plus 8, plus 6. There would be a point in the respiratory passage at which the pressure inside the airway and the pressure just outside would be equal. During the expiration, during this uh, exhalation that the person is performing, the pressure head drops. Uh, Intra-alveolar pressure at the starting point was plus 20 as I said because the person had taken deep forceful inspiration, the lungs were distended and now they are recoiling back. Now there is a forceful expiration. So obviously the pressure inside the alveoli would be positive. Normally it is plus 1 centimeters of water during quiet uh, inspiration and expiration. This was a forceful inspiration followed by forceful exhalation. Naturally, the pressure would be higher. It's, we have taken it plus 20, uh, the arbitrary value right now. And the pressure head drops. The pressure head will dissipate. It's going to go from, from plus 20 of the alveolus to zero at the external part of the body, uh, the, the atmospheric pressure. So plus 20, plus 18, plus 16, plus 14, plus 12, plus 10, plus 8, plus 6. There is a point at which there is a point during exhalation and there is a point in the respiratory passage at which the pressure inside the airway and the pressure just outside is equal and this point would be called as equal pressure point. Now, what is the meaning of this? The meaning is that 
beyond this point upward for the remainder exhalation what's going to happen is pressure inside the airway would be plus 5 plus 4 it will drop further plus 3 plus 2 1 0 it would be like that and the pressure outside is 6 that means beyond this point upward the pressure inside the airway would be less than the pressure just outside the airway the interstitial pressure uh, would uh, interstitial pressure we have taken uh, as plus 6 everywhere the arbitrary values so that means from that point onward from this uh, the so called equal pressure point onward upward there is a possibility of dynamic compression of the airways because pressure inside is plus 5 4 3 and pressure just outside is 6 greater so therefore that that pressure is likely to compress the airways the interstitial pressure would compress the airways possibility of dynamic compression of the airways that's the concept of equal pressure point the point at which uh, the pressure inside the airway and the pressure just outside that is interstitium uh, that pre pressure is equal and that means pressure beyond that point upward the pressure inside the airway uh, and we are talking about the intrathoracic airways the airways in the lungs that the lungs and the interstitium is likely to compress the airways for the remainder airway now the most important point in this is that in normal healthy individuals the equal pressure point lies in first seven generations first seven generations of the respiratory tree let me just explain here that our respiratory passage is divided into uh, 23 generations let's have a quick uh, review of it the trachea it divides into right and left main bronchus and then the respiratory passage divides and divides and further divides so trachea is taken as 0th generation and then every time the passage divides that will be the next generation new generation uh so right and left main bronchus would be the first generation and then second generation third generation and so on so such 23 generations of the respiratory tree exist um first seven generations uh, trachea and the first seven generations are cartilaginous they have cartilage in their walls they are cartilaginous which means what and now correlate this with what i said just now that in healthy individuals equal pressure point occurs in the first seven generations that means um it occurs in those airways which are cartilaginous and therefore let's say equal pressure point occurs in the cartilaginous airway so beyond that point upward there is a cartilaginous airway that means the compression would not occur look cartilage will not allow the compression to occur Cartil cartilage will provide a certain kind of a tethering to the airways and therefore compression does not normally occur in normal healthy individuals during the expiration because their equal pressure point lies in the cartilaginous airways first seven generations and uh, therefore they would the parent lung parenchyma interstitium will not be able to compress because of that cartilage which is present in the walls of the airways now um in the copd patients equal pressure point shifts to the lower airways remember first seven generations the upper airways first seven generations are cartilaginous whereas last 16 generations the lower airways small and intermediate sized bronchi 
they do not have cartilage they are non cartilaginous and what we are saying is in copd patients the equal pressure point shifts to the non cartilaginous airways the breathing occurs uh, chronically in such a manner that equal pressure point in copd patients in obstructive airway disease patients it shifts to the lower airways or non cartilaginous airways and therefore what happens is after the initial exhalation now imagine copd patient has taken a forceful inspiration and now there is a uh, expiration deflation after initial exhalation equal pressure point is reached early because it is it was it has been shifted to the lower non cartilaginous airways it reached early and then beyond that point upward there would be dynamic compression of the airways because as we have said that beyond the equal pressure point upward during exhalation as the air is coming out the pressure inside the airway is less as compared to the pressure just outside and since this is now a non cartilaginous airway in the copd patient we are talking um there would be severe dynamic compression of the airway so initial exhalation was fine but then there would be compression of the airways and therefore severe air flow limitation um that's the that's what puts the breathing in geopardy so far as the copd patients are concerned their equal pressure point because of uh, the the altered breathing in copd what happens is inspiration is fairly fine but exhalation is laborious exhalation expiration is difficult in copd patients and therefore with a chronic type of uh, changed breathing their equal pressure point shifts to the lower non cartilaginous airways last 16 airways uh, last 16 generations and it reaches early during exhalation then the remaining part of exhalation becomes very very laborious very very heavy and that's one uh, problem that they have to deal with now how do they breathe and how do they breathe uh, they overcome this particular problem is that the copd patients they exhale very slowly slow and deep type of a breathing they exhale ex expiration exhalation is very slow in copd patients they inspire slow and deep how does that help let me just uh, add that point they inspire slow and deep remember forceful inspiration means more negative intrathoracic pressure more you inspire forcefully more is the negative intrathoracic pressure and copd uh, is a condition in which the airways are narrowed airways are compressed edematous narrowed airways this negative intrathoracic pressure would pull open the airways so they inspire forcefully slow and deep inspiration it generates more negative intrathoracic pressure and that helps pull open the airways that negative pressure will pull open the airways which have been compressed narrowed or edematous so that's one thing that the copd patients will perform inspire slow and deep and second which i was explaining they exhale slowly how does that help in the context of equal pressure point now when you exhale we have already seen this that the pressure head dissipates as you start the exhalation the pressure head gradually dissipates plus 20 plus 18 plus 16 plus 14 plus 10 plus 6 and up to zero so if you exhale rapidly the pressure head from the alveolus upward 
will also it, the pressure head will dissipate rapidly that is plus 20 plus 10 plus 6 that is that's that's it that means equal pressure point will reach early we have we had uh, taken the pressure outside the airway as 6 the arbitrary figure that we had taken so if you exhale rapidly the equal pressure point will reach early that means in the lower airways that means in the non cartilaginous airways now that is not what we want and therefore what the COPD patients actually uh, uh, breathe is that they exhale slowly so that the pressure head will dissipate slowly plus 20 plus 18 plus 16 uh, so pressure head will dissipate very very slowly plus 14 plus 12 plus 10 and that means equal pressure point will shift upward it will again go back to the cartilaginous airways so remember in COPD the equal pressure point had shifted to the lower airways which are non cartilaginous and by exhaling slowly they are attempting that the equal pressure point shifts upward toward the cartilaginous airways the trachea and first seven generations the upper airways are cartilaginous and we've already seen that the cartilage provides a certain kind of a tethering so even if equal pressure point is reached and the uh, beyond that point the pressure inside the airway is less but because of the cartilage there would not be compression so our point is they exhale slowly that means pressure head from the alveolus upward will dissipate gradually and that means equal pressure point will shift towards the cartilaginous airways so uh, that is the concept of equal pressure point